I'm going to demonstrate two ways to rig two-dimensional eyes or non-spherical eyes to work with VRChat. For this first setup, I have two quads, uh, a bigger one representing the eye and a smaller one representing the pupil. Uh, and what we really want to do is get the pupil to move in the eye space um, since it's two-dimensional. Now in VRChat, we the VRChat itself only drives the rotation of an eyeball, so we're going to have uh, an eye bone, which VRChat will control, and then let me add a icon to it so it's easier to select in the scene. And then uh, for the setup, I also have a child object, a look at object, and I'm also going to give this one an icon. And when I rotate the eyeball, this uh, look at object will also rotate with uh, the parent bone and then will also translate. And what we need to do is transfer this translation to the pupil mesh or a pupil bone if you have that. So selecting the pupil, I'm going to add a parent constraint. And for the sources, we want to add another source and it's going to be the I look at. Now in the constraint settings, uh, we want to limit the, uh, we don't really need the rotation to be affected. And also we only want the position on the Y and the X axis. So I'm going to uncheck Z and then activate. And now if I select the eye bone and I start rotating it, uh, needs to be a little bit further. Let me move this back a bit. There we go. Now if I select it, it's inheriting the position of the look at bone. So we have a 2D translation when rotating the eye bone. Now the second method is simpler. Um, I'm, I already have it set up on my character, so I'm going to do a quick demonstration. Easier to see if I enable wireframe. The eyes are, in fact, spheres, but they've been scaled by the parent bone. So I'm going to hide the meshes to make it easier to see. Now if I press F in order to frame a uh, bone, it's going to, going to zoom out. Um, so I'm going to temporarily add a sphere collider so that I can zoom in. I press F. And I'm going to select the bones and give them icons so they're easier to see. So the step setup is pretty similar to the previous one, but in this situation, the VR chat will control the child bone instead. So uh, if I select the parent bone, we can see that it's simply scaled on one axis. And if I reset the scale to one, we can see that it's in fact just a sphere. So the rig is like this. Um, the mesh itself is skinned to the child bone, which is in the center of the mesh, so that it can drive uh, the rotation. And then the parent bone I've set just behind the eye. And all I'm doing is driving, modifying the scale of the parent bone. So now I can freely rotate the bone without affecting the overall sphere rotation. And it's going to retain the squashed uh, shape. Now the parent bone can also be used to drive the initial rotation of the eye.
not only the scale itself. And we can make it as two-dimensional as we need by scaling it even further. The child bone then, we can rotate at any angle and it should only move the pupil. Alright, so that's pretty much it.